Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Luis with CIS Inc. Super 2 Buy, and I'm going to show you how to install CIS system on the Canon MG5320. Uh, it should work with more Canon printers than just the MG5320, so just keep that in mind. This is basically for, you know, more than like general instructions, if anything, for Canon printers. Um, so we already have our OEM cartridges installed here. We of course depleted these cartridges before we take them out. So I recommend you do the same thing. This way you won't waste any ink. Alright, so first thing you do obviously is take these cartridges out. When you do take them out, make sure you flip them upside down. You don't want to get ink on your tables or anything like that. Alright, so there's a few things you have to do first before you install the actual cartridges. The first thing you might want to do is install these rubber seals. And these should be included in the package. If for whatever reason they're not included in the package, give us a call and we'll send one out for you right away, okay? So let's take these out. Next thing to do would be to actually have them installed. So you have to be careful with this. Just make sure you're setting it out with the bigger side on the front. So this is the bigger side. This is what I consider the bigger side. Sorry about that. So a longer side is the bigger side. So this should actually go in like this. All right. So I'll go ahead and do this. Now you can press it in with your hands and gloves if you have them. If not, the flathead screwdriver works well too. All you have to do is make sure that it's in there fine. And that's all you really need to do on that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and install the rest of them. So pretty much have all our seals installed here. Just grab the screwdriver, make sure you press in around where that protruding part is. And this should create an airtight seal now. Alright, cool. So here goes that. You might want to clean the area before you move on. So usually use alcohol and a wipe. There's a lot of ink in there, that's basically because we had the CIS system previously installed in this printer, so you know, of course there's going to be some leaky parts to it. Alright, cool. So, next step would be to install the cartridges. Before you install the cartridges though, make sure that the air vent holes are not exposed and they're plugged in. Uh, if you don't do this step here, then the cartridges are just going to leak as soon as you flip them over. So just be careful with that, okay? You can see there's a lot of ink here, so before I even go with the... Uh, make sure to absorb some of that ink. So it doesn't spill into the printer itself. And when you put them in there, just make sure you try to do it as fast as possible. Okay, so I got that, 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 that. Right, so make sure it locks in place. Awesome. So, only thing that's really left to do, that's really one of the more important things, is to route the tubes. So, we're going to use this piece to route the tubing itself. Um, so, obviously, you take off the back, this little cover for this tape here. Um, the suggestion that I got here earlier today is that this sometimes gets unstuck, so you might want to consider adding some crazy glue on there before you stick in it. Before you stick it in there. Alright, but for, for now, I'll just stick it in there. And basically, you just have to make sure it's in this small gap area here, so almost close to, to where this section is here. Um, it's pretty universal to do this. You can even do this with some Epson printers. So... 
grab the tube, stick it in there, lock it in place. Now, with your hand, grab the actual printhead and move it to the right, all the way down. And you basically are supposed to leave enough slack for it to move right and left. So, it goes that, and it doesn't move all the way down to the left, so it'll stop about there. So that should be fine. It's not going to get stuck. One thing to note though is that the actual scanner lid has to remain open in order for, for the tubes to move freely within the printer. Uh, if you have the scanner lid open though, it won't allow you to print and it'll give you a message like you see on our screen here. Cover open. Uh, in order for you to circumvent that, what we ended up doing here is Jimmy rigging a piece of cardboard like so. And we're basically going to locate the sensor and stick that piece of cardboard in the sensor. Um, note one thing though, the location of the sensor itself might be different in your printer, so just make sure you look for something similar to this. And it's an actual trigger itself, if you can hear it there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as soon as we do that, it's going to start charging the ink. So let it charge the ink for now. Alright, now it's printing the test page. And you should get something similar to this. If you don't, run the head cleaning on the printer itself. 